If you own silver, you dealt with this problem, milk spots, tarnishing, and discoloration, and it's really annoying. You pay a high premium and a coin turns to crap. It looks just ugly. I've done a three month experiment with silver and came up with some really interesting conclusions on how to possibly avoid these issues with silver and how to possibly remove it. I'll discuss this as well as share a surprise delivery from the Germania Mint coming up. Hey everyone, welcome to Campbell's Coins. Before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I wanted to share something Germania Mint sent to me. This is the 2021 Knights of the Past. It is a amazingly detailed coin. One ounce, four nines fine, pure silver. And what's interesting about this is it is actually done for the Central Bank of Malta. It has the Central Bank of Malta the coat of arms on the reverse of the coin. On the obverse, we have the Knights of Malta. This just came out, I think, in October of this year. So you can find these on any dealer that sells Germania Mint products. There is a mintage of 15,000 pieces, so it's not incredibly high. But what is really nice is Germania Mint's presentation. You have a coin that is encapsulated within the COA and the display. So it has a certificate of authenticity and then it comes in this, they call it, I think they call it a blister pack. Anyways, it's a really nice presentation and it, it sets up really nice. So if you wanted to display this in your desk, in your office, in your home, somewhere on a shelf, it can stand up on its own and sit there. The Knights of the Past is the first commemorative coin created through the close cooperation between the Central Bank of Malta and the Germania Mint. I've mentioned this in my other videos with the Germania Mint. They mint coins for other governments, other government mints, other, other governments who don't really have mints. And this particular issue will start a series of unique bullion coins, which in a modern way refers to the traditions of the Order of Malta. The collection will result of a collaboration combining superior minting and precious metals qualities with the artistic vision, marketing, and distribution of both institutions. The obverse of the first coin of the series depicts the Knights of Malta in battle array with the famous Verdala Palace in the background. The reverse of the coin presents the Central Bank of Malta coat of arms on a shield held by a Maltese knight. The 2021 Knights of the Past one ounce silver BU will be issued in a mintage of 15,000 coins with certificate and blister pack in the fall of 2021. If you head over to Germania Mint's website, you can go to, um, you can see everything about them really, about us, their mission, vision, and values. Uh, you can look at what's coming up and you can look at previous releases going back to 2019, 2020, 2021. You can look at specific series. So right now I'm in the section for previous years, 2021, because they're moving. Obviously this is December, 2021 and they're moving on, but you can see the 2021 nights, of the past, this one is a high relief and has some slight colorization. Also looks like it's antiqued. This is coming out this month. So if you like this two ounce version over the one ounce version, uh, head to your local distributor for that. They also have um, the allegories which have come out, uh, Austria and Germania. And then um, this one right here is kind of neat. The 2021 Nui Island. This is the impact moments, meteor, two ounce silver high relief. This one only has 777 pieces came out in late October. Take a look at it. It actually contains extremely rare fragment of a meteor that is more than 4.5 billion years old that was discovered in Northern Sweden in 1906. Um, really cool looking coin. So if you're into like this type of artisan work, check out Germania Mint because they have some really cool stuff that's been out and that is coming out. But uh, so here's Knights of the Past that we're looking at. They have a Notre Dame right here. And then they have the 2021 Germania in gold. And then the silver proof. And then the BU versions. 
and all sorts of things you can check out on their website. So getting to the crux of this video, a few months ago, a viewer asked me in the comments if I experienced any spotting on my Germania Mint Kilo bars. I was kind of taken aback because no, I hadn't. And since most of mine were locked away on another property, I couldn't really answer them in that moment um, and give them a full complete answer. I did have one on my desk, but I didn't see any milk spotting showing on that. So I told them that I would check and get back to them. This is that video. It turns out about half of my Germania Mint kilos developed some milky splotches. I was kind of surprised by this, so I decided to do an experiment for you, the people. The people. I kept those kilos in the same storage spot. I kept one kilo on my desk and I had another silver bar on my desk in its thick plastic wrapping. The second bar is a 10 ounce bar from Gold Silver, not really anything to do with Germania Mint, but I wanted to have some control pieces in there. The kilos which developed this milkiness were in a warm area for about a month and a half in the latter part of the summer, early fall. Completely out of the sun, but it wouldn't surprise me if the safe that it was in got a bit warm. The kilo on my desk was in a temperature controlled environment. It never came out of its box. It also was not left in full or partial sunlight and it has yet to develop any of this milkiness that I'm seeing from the ones that were in the warm safe. Another silver bar by a different company, I believe this is a gold silver product, comes in a thick plastic enclosed sleeve. It received partial sun exposure for a few hours a day for the last two to three months. It has developed some tarnishing, some might call this toning, on the corners which received the sun exposure. The Germania Mint products have a thin plastic lining around them. I went over this in another video on how the plastic contains PVC, but Germania Mint selected it as the best overall plastic to use on its bars, which through their testing didn't cause any harm to their silver products, even when stuck in accelerated harmful conditions. Milk spots are not a sign of PVC damage. It's a sign of soap detergent left on the bar or coin when the blank is annealed. When a blank is prepared, it gets washed before it goes into the oven to be annealed. Then it gets pressed into a bar or coin. If there is any detergent left on the coin or the bar when it goes into the annealing process, that detergent gets baked into the coin or bar. Milk spotting eventually comes out when the coin or bar is placed in the right conditions. Some people think milk spotting or tarnishing occurs from handling, you know, running over with your hands. This is provably false. These germanium mint bars are individually sealed. The plastic has no holes where air can get to them or finger oils can touch the silver. I've been picking on germanium mint, but I have pant products which have milk spotting on them. This 100 gram bar showed no signs for the last two years that I've owned it, but in the last couple months, two spots developed. This bar is sealed and has not been touched. These types of silver pamps are notorious, in my opinion, for developing fine spots on them. And it's really a shame because they're quite lovely and one pays a hefty premium on them. I do have a pamp kilo, which also developed some sort of milkiness to it. That is located in the same safe as the Germania Mint Kilos. I also have other silver in there, which isn't developing any sort of milk spotting or tarnishing. The gold silver bar is similar. Uh, it's completely sealed off from air and human touch, yet it has some tarnishing. No milk spots, which is nice considering it's stored in the same locale as the Germania Mint Kilos and Pamp Kilos, but this plastic and the sunlight are causing this tarnishing. Now, how can you get all this stuff off? Unfortunately, without harshly scrubbing your silver bar or coin using some sort of cleaner, most milk spots do not come off. I have used EZS on my coins and bars. It does remove some slight hazing and it removes toning and tarnishing completely and immediately, but it is extremely harsh on silver. You should not dip your silver in this solution for more than eight seconds, and you should have a source of running water immediately nearby 
to rinse off the chemical. Leaving this chemical on your silver will damage it. I've seen a lot of Morgans that look like they have been dipped. They develop these really dark black spots on them. I believe this is leftover cleaner, which wasn't rinsed off properly. Notice how I said rinsed off, not washed off. If you decide to dip your coins or bars to remove these milk spots, you shouldn't be rubbing anything over them. That will cause scratches. You can lightly run your fingers over them to kind of get that chemical off, but be very careful and don't apply any sort of force. I do it with a latex glove on my hand. Let the water do the work for you. There are some really big key takeaways here when it comes to storing silver to avoid milk spots and tarnishing. Keep your silver in a cool, dry, sunless location. I'm not saying this is a surefire way that will always work, but the sun and the heat seem to accelerate the showing of these splotches and tarnishing on silver. If you're interested in other topics like this one, check out the other videos I have on my channel discussing these metals and how they can help you preserve and protect your wealth. If you made it this far in the video, you guys and gals are my super stackers and collectors, and I appreciate you. Thank you all for watching. This is Campbell's Coins, and that is my two cents.